Today, guys, we're going to be messing around with the new salvage yard business. We're going to go and grab some cars with our tow truck, and we're also going to head over to that computer and acquire some of the vehicles that were shown there. So I hope you guys go on to enjoy it. Let's hop in the tow truck and launch this shit up. Let's see what we got to do first. This is one of the most hype parts of this update for me, so I'm really hoping it's going to be fun. All right, tow truck service, recover the Remo. Okay. One thing I'm not super, super hyped about is the fact that we can't use this in free mode, like just driving around. We have to launch the tow service unless we're able to just drive it out, but I'm not sure if we're able to. Even if you're not and you just want to mess around with it in free mode, you could just go ahead and launch one of the missions, take the truck out and go and mess around. But we are 1.8 miles away. So let's see how hard this is going to be. Is there going to be like the owner of the vehicle trying to like kill us or something like that? Who the hell knows? All right. So let's back this thing up, hook it right on. Let's just do a, a quick little turn here. All right, we got to make sure we turn on the flashing lights because we are now towing a vehicle. While I'm doing that, though, why don't you guys take a look at this video's sponsor. If you need any assistance in any of your favorite games like GTA 5, Fortnite, Forza, Call of Duty, and many, many more, be sure to check out damn mods down below in the description. And at checkout, use code FROLICS to get up to $100 off your order. I'm really hoping a lot of these missions won't require us to drive to like Polito Bay unless the money is good and it's for a very good car. Yeah, so uh, it's only a $9,000 car. So I don't think the profit from this vehicle is going to be that crazy. But uh, we're going to see how long it's going to take for us to do another sourcing mission. And hopefully we can get something a bit better than this thing. I'm thinking the profit is probably going to be about 5k. Maybe a bit more, but definitely not less than that. Alright, watch out Prius, you're too damn slow. Okay, it has been recovered. Staff have begun salvaging parts. The earnings from this will be added to your account once all the parts have been salvaged. Okay, and... Okay, wait, it looks like it was upgraded. I didn't even notice that. Okay, well, we'll let that uh, do its thing. Let's go grab another one before we head onto the computer. If we're able to. Are we able to do it? We can. Okay, so we could just go and grab as many as we want. Might be a good thing to do when you first hop on for the day. So I believe that's a $100,000 car and we do need to drive four miles now. Okay, so it looks like the more expensive the vehicle, the further we have to drive. I mean, at least the tow truck isn't extremely slow. Like, I mean, we're going pretty quick. Yeah, we're going like 100 miles an hour in this thing. One thing that is fun, though, let me just drop this hook down a little bit and then just kind of slow down behind this car. Sup, Prius? How you doing? No, you're joking. Wait a minute. Bruh, it won't let you... Oh, okay. That's kind of dumb. That's kind of dumb. I'm, I don't like that. We're not able to pick up any other vehicle other than the Banshee or whichever vehicle you're supposed to pick up right over here. Okay. So once again, it does have some upgrades on it. Let's go ahead and lower that down. But uh, after we deliver this car, we're going to wait to see how long it takes for the Primo and how much money we get from it. And then we're going to start up one of the other missions and see what happens from that. All right. We are about to arrive at our salvage yard. So we got the Banshee sitting right here already being salvaged. And we got the Primo right here also being salvaged. So we got two sitting here right now. Are we able to do any more or is the garage full? Unavailable. All car lifts are already in use. It would have been nice if we were able to upgrade the garage a bit more with more car lifts. It looks like we have all parking spaces here. So we got... Four spots right there, another one right here, and then I'm assuming this is another parking spot right here. Well, um, let's go ahead and register as a boss, and then let's uh, take a look at this planning computer, and let's go and source a vehicle, shall we? Now, this is where the real money comes in. Three vehicles. We're going to go for the new Turismo. You can see we can get 395000 bucks. Salvage value is 316 k so I probably wouldn't want to salvage it then, right? Um, let's go ahead and confirm that. Okay, so they're actual like proper missions. It's just like the contracts at the auto shop that you do. Sometimes I hate how long they talk for. Like, we really don't need to hear this. And tell me as we go if you really need to. All right, let's launch this thing up, baby. I'm assuming eventually once you complete all of the missions, you'll be able to repeat them as much as you want, obviously. But I'm also hoping that the vehicles that we can get from them will also be different. And hopefully there's going to be some that are going to be more expensive than the ones that we have here. Take a picture of the helicopter. Send to Jamal. Take a picture of that. Hopefully we could see it from here. Yes, we can. Is that good enough for him? It is perfect. Bro, this thing is so fast. Holy cow. I haven't even taken a look at any of the other new vehicles added, except for the Mustang, which uh, is kind of fire. But we have not upgraded yet, so stay tuned because we will be doing that shortly. All right, let's start up the next prep for this. 
So it looks like the way to go here is go and source two vehicles and then start up one of these things. Okay. So now the planning works. Okay, so we need a getaway vehicle, stun guns, weapon stash, and then we need masks. And then we also need to do some of this. We need to get a police maverick, tactical gear. Holy cow, there's a lot we gotta do. Look, a set of masks that can reduce the police response during the escape. So these are all optional. Okay, this one's mandatory. This one's mandatory. This one's mandatory. This is also mandatory, and so is this. Okay, so we need to complete a bunch more missions. All right, well, I guess we'll go and get uh, the helicopter. All right, well, this is gonna take a minute, bro. Hack the signal box. Let's see how hard this is gonna be. Okay, well, that's literally the easiest thing in the whole world to do. Breaking news. Okay, so where is that? Okay, perfect. Okay, I don't, I know where it is. Let's go. Will it tell us the location or do we actually uh, have to find it? Okay, no, it does tell us. Perfect. Just gonna hop in and take this really quickly. Perks of having an oppressor, you just go up here and grab it. All right, we out of here. So we're also escaping a three-star wanted level here. I don't believe that is going to count towards unlocking any of the police vehicles, but we will go over that later on how to do it very easily if you guys don't already know. Perfect. Okay, so we have to bring it right over here. So that's what you guys are going to want to do. Just head straight over there, and we're good to go after this. Also, we're able to do other tasks in free mode. I just saw them, and I don't know where they went. Uh, yes, these right here. We just go and collect them. Press to contact Jamal and stash weapons for the gangbanger robbery. All right, let's call them up. Yep, literally just down the road. Locate the unmarked weapons. All right, stash the weapons at the police station. So yeah, having an oppressor mark two is definitely gonna help you out with these missions because uh, it just makes things a little bit easier. I don't look suspicious at all. I'm just on a flying motorcycle, flying into a police station. Oh wait, no, I do look suspicious. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Suspicion levels are rising. All right, let's head on over to the casino now and complete whatever this task is. Now, like I said, we don't need to do all of these tasks. There's only three of them that are mandatory to do. Let's pop open the trunk. There we go. And steal stun guns. And we just bring these back to the salvage yard. It's just too easy with the oppressor, guys. It really is. Perfect. Task completed. Two out of three. Okay, but it looks like we're making some progress here. The doors are off of this one now as well. All right, let's see if this riot thing is mandatory to do. Info. Mandatory. Okay, so we just need a getaway vehicle, and we need a tactical gear. Go to Rockford Hills. Okay. I love how I literally just landed up there and then just went right in. Didn't kill a single cop. Just be warned, there's a couple people you need to shoot in here. I know you're still here. Oh god, no, there's a lot of them. Okay. There's no shot it's going to be in the first truck. Yep, not surprised. It's most likely going to be in the last one that we look in, because that's what always tends to happen. Yep, of course. It's in the last one. The furthest one away, so I'd recommend just go in and check in there first, and if it's not there for you, then no matter which truck you look in, it's going to be the last one. And look, there it is. See you later, guys. We're just going to take your truck. Don't mind me. You guys are great at your jobs. Bro, I hate NPCs. Get out of my way. Let's also just manage vehicles, and let's just request our oppressor in, so then we can just come right out and uh, get the next mission going. We only have one more mandatory mission to complete, and then we're able to start the thing up itself. And there's our oppressor sitting waiting for us. All right, where are we going? Break into the garage, all right. Bro, oh, okay, so um, don't do what I just did. That's probably not the best idea. All right, we gotta take out the strap before we go inside, because uh, yeah, we kind of just got lasered down by like 18 people. Bro, how are you supposed to get in here without dying in two seconds? The second you walk in, they're all just spraying right away. We're gonna just go take cover as fast as we can. Come on, Peek, I know you're there. I know you're there, Peek. Uh, oh, hell yeah, taking the charger. So we could literally just take any of the ones we want from in here. Oh, we gotta drive it to a hiding spot near the police station, okay. All right, delivery in progress, okay. Yeah, your car's sitting right here, but uh, you're gonna die. I'm curious to see what this uh, mission's gonna be like because we're about to start it up. There is two more missions we are able to complete, but we are not doing those because uh, we should be able to do it without having to deal with that. So we could get a max sale value of 395k, obviously if we don't damage the vehicle whatsoever, but there is no chance that's gonna happen. Oh, hoo, hoo, we're in our tactical gear. Oh yeah, we're going to uh, get this. Equipment added, enforcer outfit, gas grenades, and stun guns. Helicopter has been landed. All right, what are we doing now? Hi, sir. Oh, throw the gas grenades into the ventilation unit. Okay. Bro, they really make you actually have to like go up close to them. We can't even jump on these things. Can I jump on this at least? Okay, thank you. Oh my god, just, just fall in. Just fall in. Oh my gosh. Okay, 
But uh, he's about to pass the hell out. So, yeah, good luck trying to deal with me now, buddy. Locate the cell keys. I'm assuming they're going to be in this office. Perfect. These are some pretty powerful stun guns. Normally people don't get, like, knocked out completely by them. Okay, yeah, we need to eat some snacks. One more cop down here. Oh, there's actually people in the cells down here. Bam. Use the keys to open King Tiny's cell. I'm breaking you out. Let's go. Get out. Uh, now what? I can't shoot. There we go. Collect the stashed weapons. I don't know why we had to stash the weapons. We could have just brought them with us, but I guess it is what it is. All right, lose the cops now. By the way, guys, this is a four-star wanted level, which will allow us to unlock the trade prices for a couple vehicles. I remember before they never used to come down here, and then I don't know where they're just like, yeah, let's start taking a look through the sewers. All right, perfect. We lost them, and that was a four-star wanted level, so we should be able to unlock the trade prices for a couple of the cop cars believe the riot and the marked cruiser take king tiny to lsia okay so a little tip i guess that i can give is instead of sitting in the ls river go to lsia and then just hide somewhere there because you're gonna have to go there anyways you might as well just take the time to drive there and then lose the cops once you get there there's a lot of different spots you can hide at just head literally over here and then hide in this parking garage and then you are pretty much at the destination already not sure exactly how much time it really will save but i mean you know might as well right i love how the blades aren't actually spinning um okay well we did that infiltrate the kang pay hideout okay then so don't know what the point of breaking him out of jail was then i mean Okay. Anywho, let's head over there then. Unless he was the only one that knew the location of the vehicle. Oh, the Primo was salvaged, and we got $33,000 for that. Yo, that's actually pretty decent. 33 k That is very good. Considering the car is only worth 9 it had some upgrades on it, we got a pretty decent amount of money, almost four times the value of the car stock. Now I'm curious to see what the Banshee's gonna be paying out. It did take a while, though. It took roughly, I think... 45 minutes maybe maybe about 50 minutes for the vehicle to be salvaged all right the whip is sitting right over there all right this thing's looking sick by the way just don't want to do any damage to it i'm not sure if that makes a difference or not doesn't look like it will there's no bar or anything saying that it will this thing handles really really well it sticks to the road like a god either way we started recording 57 minutes ago we salvaged two vehicles one of them is not done yet and we completed the very first mission not too shabby first mission completed this dude has got a massive bottle of tequila i believe robbery completed all right bonus reward fifty thousand dollars okay so we got 50k from that and now so we could sell for 395 or we can salvage it for 316. you must have bodyguards inside the salvage yard to sell multiple vehicles i mean let's just sell it let's just take the money the next one we are going to salvage though just to see if maybe we can make a bit more money who knows this is the only way to find out okay so if we want to sell it we actually need to deliver it somewhere okay now this is where we can lose some money okay so let's see how much money we end up losing i'm a decent driver but uh somewhat nervous and it looks like the banshee was salvaged for thirty-nine thousand dollars. okay so from the two vehicles that we went and got we managed to make a pretty decent amount of money from them all right, it looks like no enemies try to chase you down or anything like that. You just bring the whip right over here, deliver it, and uh, that pretty much wraps it up. And there we go. So we made $395,000 from that. We got $50,000 in bonuses, $33,000 from the Primo, and then we also got $39,000 from the Banshee. So in total, in an hour, we just made $517,000 from this new business, which isn't bad. Of course, that was the most expensive vehicle mission that we could do. But, I mean, that's not terrible. All right, well, we got our oppressor. I'm going to head out, start up the next mission. Honestly, pretty simple mission. A couple of things you wanted to watch out for. But, uh, all in all, not too bad. And we made a pretty good profit. So, I'd highly recommend, before you start up each mission, just go and take the tow truck out. Go and source two vehicles and let them get salvaged for parts. And then start up one of the missions. By the time you're done the mission, you'll get profit from both those vehicles and the mission itself. And uh, yeah, I guess that's going to wrap things up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you went on to enjoy it. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.